Hey guys and girls, DC here again. Uh, I'm wearing the same clothes as last video because it's the same day. I'm doing two videos in one day. Crazy. I have so many questions. Uh, I want to get through as many of them as I can, so I'll, uh, I'll jump straight back into it. So, Sammy Swanksmith says, Do you find it boring, repetitive, and monotonous? Also, when you started, did you feel totally overwhelmed or clueless where to begin? Thanks for the great videos, mate. Thank you, Sammy. Uh, sometimes I find the, um, the policy writing side of things pretty monotonous. That's what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, like writing security policies for people and um, yeah, it can get pretty boring uh, Mainly because it's like you do the same sort of checks every single day and the process is pretty much the same And the document is exactly the same each time especially for governments. It's it's always the same document. You just fill in the blanks um, The work I sort of really enjoy is migration projects uh, so That sort of stuff is really really fun for me. I it's different every time, There's, it's a different network, it's a different system, different firewalls, uh, different rules that they have, business rules, so it's, um, yeah, I, I find that work quite fun as far as that goes. When I first started out, uh, I was transitioning from networking into security, so I found it a little bit challenging at the start, but um, having that background in IT already, uh, and especially networking, I found it a pretty easy transition, which is usually why I always recommend uh, some sort of networking uh, background before or qualifications certifications before going into security next question is from fourway and his question is or her question is what are the best books to learn cybersecurity um, now I've got three favorite cybersecurity books none of them are really about learning though uh, most of the learning I recommend is done online or during a course or at university. But however the books are, A, Bugs, a Bug Hunter's Diary by uh, Tobias Klein, uh, We Are Anonymous by Palmy Olsen, that book is great, it's, a, it's really good. And uh, Move Fast and Break Things by Jonathan Taplin. Um, like I said, the books are, they're not really informational but they do use the right terminology and um, explain the right sort of techniques to it's it's all correct like technically correct it's not fluff so yeah they're good books uh, next question is from Mokhtar Kiari and he asks is red hat work illegal yep it is don't do it red hat hacking is hacking and that is illegal Next question by Golden. Uh, you said buy a laptop for Kali Linux. I would recommend a Raspberry Pi 3 or no. You can use a Raspberry Pi 3 if you want, but I prefer to use a laptop because it's got a battery, uh, it's portable, it's got keyboard and mouse already built in. Um, but there are uses for Raspberry Pis, uh, which is um, you can, I'm, I do not endorse hacking at all. However, there is a project that you can run on a Raspberry Pi 3 in particular uh, where it's basically like a Wi-Fi hack box and um, what you do is you install VNC on there, throw Wi-Fi and a database full of passwords, like thousands and thousands of passwords that it can randomize through. And uh, yeah, with permission from whoever it is that you're trying to crack their Wi-Fi, Get it to run against that uh, VNC onto it so that it's remote and hidden. And uh, yeah, they're, they're tiny, like Raspberry Pis are only like this big. So you can chuck them up in a, an aircon vent or something with a, one of those uh, power banks connecting the USB and no one would know it was there. But I, again, I, as I said, I do not endorse hacking of any type and I do not recommend this uh, and always get permission before you try any projects like this. Disclaimer. Uh, next question is from Joshua Negri. He says, thank you for your videos. I've been watching them all and I really enjoy your content. 
Thanks, man. Could you please tell me if an OSCP and CREST certification are enough to land a pen testing job in the UK? Uh, in a, I'll start with Australia because I know it well. Uh, you could, however, you might have a bit of difficulty. I would also recommend you get a CH uh, just to throw it in there so you've got a little bit of extra, you know, boost to your profile. Um, it would also help if you have some sort of IT degree or uh, diploma, that would certainly help out. JTW asks, what courses on Cybri would you recommend starting with as a beginner that is interested in pen testing? Um, pen testing isn't really a beginner's subject, but I, I will recommend some courses for you. The CompTIA Linux Plus, CompTIA Security Plus, the uh, CEH by EC Council and the CHFI by uh, EC Council as well. Um, like I said, they're not really beginner level, but give it a crack. You never know. Next question is from Lit Mickey. He asks, or she asks, can we study cybersecurity without having studied Linux before? Uh, short answer, yes, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I, would, I would highly recommend building a Linux box, learning some bash commands, play around with the terminal, um, I don't know, run up Vim and throw some stuff in there and see what you can break. Uh, either run up on a uh, virtual machine or on an old laptop or something like that. Next question is from It's Your from Nepal. And that person asks, can you list out all the certifications in order that help to become a cybersecurity engineer for both defensive as well as offensive? Yes, I can. Uh, okay, so Linux Plus, Security Plus, those are both CompTIA, just by the way. Uh, CEH, CHFI, and that's about, that's the start. Then mid is CCNA, OSCP, and CREST, that's your mid-level, higher tier, CCMP and CISSP. Um, if you were able to complete all of these certifications in that exact order, it would take roughly two to three years, uh, including study time. Um, if you had all of these certifications, you could do anything in defense as well as offensive um, jobs. Uh, for government, they're probably going to want you to have a degree or diploma at least, um, and potentially some uh, experience in IT. Um, so maybe do these courses while you're working somewhere else already. Uh, that would be that would be my recommendation. And that is the exact list of certifications that most places I see uh, are looking for. So I hope all this information has been helpful for you all. Don't forget to comment down the bottom there and uh, ask me some more questions. Um, I've got a few more to get through in another video, uh, but I'll wait a little while to get a, a collection of more videos so I can um, make some really great videos for you guys. Thanks again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the rest of it, and I'll see you on the next one.